now isn't this cool? All of these stamps were on this package that I received today. I had ordered this from eBay. Came pretty quick too, by the way. And all of these cool stamps. And it's, I'm assuming that they're older. Because like 32 cents, 52 cents. I don't know. 29 cents, 29 cents. And then, of course, there's some ones that are a little bit more, but I've not seen a lot of these stamps. So I was quite impressed with the box. Just like this, I was happy. I was ready to tuck it under my arm and go to the house. However, what is inside of this? Oh, I'm excited to see. I opened the box and I said, you know what? I, I got it delivered to work. It's just best because I'm home and... I mean, I'm not home and I'm at work and it's just best that that's where I get my packages sent to. So I opened up the box and I said, you know what? I need to not unwrap it until I get home and I can video it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm excited with the anticipation, but I just wanted to show you this. I love it. And yeah, I'm going to try to get them off of there. Um, my buddy Annette said that if I soak this for 10, 15 minutes, I think she said that they ought to come on off. I might wait till I go to her house and let her do it for me, but we'll see. Anyhow, are you ready? Here we go. Oh my heavens, can you see it? Alrighty, let me see if I can get... Looks like it's been wrapped in saran wrap, which that's a good thing. You know what it is? Well, as I unwrap it, let me talk to you for a few minutes. At a recent retreat, my buddy, Debbie Spencer, which I'm sure many of you might know, showed us these vintage albums that she had and in some cases she had pulled some of the pages out of albums and had decorated them and um, that was one of the classes that she taught so I'm not being real careful here now am I it's all right just to ram wrap don't know where I could do any more with it anyhow but um so she taught us about vintage albums so this one i saw on ebay it looked in fairly good shape it was a price i was willing to pay um the outside it does not have its hardware which maybe i can figure something out but overall this cover is like velvet and let's see, yeah, the end is a little worn. Um, you can see here, let me get it. The end is a little worn. But overall, so let's look inside. Do you see what I'm talking about? The pages are thicker. Now they hold cabinet cards. And apparently, the way it was supposed to be, we'll slide this one out. Yeah, the way it's supposed to be is this is like in between the cabinet cards. And then the cabinet cards would slide in. And some of the papers, yeah, they look like they're torn. Let's see if I can get this back in here now without ripping it farther. Duh, Elaine, why did you take it out? Just because that's the way that I roll. I can't do anything easy. All right, so anyhow, so that kind of needs to be tucked up. It, oh, yeah, it will go. It's going to tuck. It's going to be okay. Look at that, Elaine. Uh, anyhow, looky here. Aren't the pages beautiful? Got a little bitty image here. And I am like all thumbs today. <clears throat> so they hold cabinet cards. And the books that she had, she had decorated them all up. And in some one case, I remember one of them being like a clock or a compass. 
and it like poked through like three of these pages had the middle parts had all been removed so when i saw these i said oh you've got to do it girl you got to do it now there's a little damage there but look at that i think i can mend that aren't they beautiful aren't they beautiful so this is what i got in the mail with all of those postage stamps i had posted it on my um facebook social media and showed everybody the stamps and of course they were like well what did you get what did you get so now i'm gonna go back on there and tell them that you're gonna have to wait you're gonna have to wait for my video and i have a lot of cabinet cards so now i get to decide what cabinet cards i'm going to put in if I actually put in a cabinet card, oh, here's for some smaller ones. Now, these pages have seen better days, but we'll work with it. We will work with this. But that's it. It is a vintage photo album. And like I said, I'm pretty frugal, so I'm not going to spend a bunch of monies. But I did splurge on this. I certainly did. And uh, I have to say, I'm glad I did. So in case you've never seen one before, this is it. Um, you might want to run out and see about getting yourself one and play. And um, I'm going to try to get Debbie to post some more pictures. She did post some on the Paper Outpost group that I'm the admin one of the administrators for. Um, someone had asked a question ab about, I think they had found three of these books. And so I reached out to Debbie and asked her to post some pictures. And I'm pretty sure she'll post some more. So anyhow, that's it. This is my vintage photo album. And I just wanted to show it to everybody. So no more mysteries to my friends. Anyhow, thank you very much. And please subscribe and give me that thumbs up. You just never know what I might uncover. I appreciate you. Behave. Bye.